networkers a higher hut trains equipped with wheel slide system. The three-step Wesco disc brake provides high braking rates throughout the speed range through and is super particularly at high speed. Speed. What you say may be true, but what about the leaves? Well, well, well. In low adhesion conditions, the difference is in the character of what you see, what you see, what you see, what you see. Secondly, because it's a brake, if the rail condition is bad, it'll tend to slide more easily. Secondly, in that case, why if it trains with brakes at all? Because the disc brake is generally superior. But why does the disc brake have these super characteristics? Let's look at the disc brake. Large steel discs are mounted on each wheel tear. A caliper so that when a super is admitted to the brake cylinder, the brake pads grip the disc. The pads themselves are made of a car tyre. This tread pattern allows the pad to maintain complete contact with the disc when the brake is applied. And also serves... All this adds up to a brake which has a much more effective friction surface and is much better... So what you're really saying is that although the disc is a much better brake in normal conditions, it can be the tread brake when very poor rail conditions exist. No, the real issue here is driving. Driving? <laughs> what, do, what do you mean by that? I mean leaf fall, light rain, or misty conditions, and no one... Before you charge your train, give thought to how the train should be handled. For example, it's because so many car drivers think about weather conditions and adapt their driving that so many tragic accidents happen on our motorways. For the first time, no areas where low adhesion occur will be listed in the section appendix. Problems may occur at round where you encounter low adhesion and have difficulty breaking the section appendix. Report it to the signal immediately. If you encounter ex exceptional low adhesion at any location, where there are certain giveaways. If the train slips at starting, you know you can expect problems. Okay, I've got no problem with that. But what about time? Am I going to get somebody breathing demanding to know why I've lost time? If running hard to keep time results in the loss of a few minutes, the effect on our customers is a thousand times more serious than the spared or... So driving really means driving cautiously if I think the rail is going to be slippery. No! The real message is this. If you knew you could approach all stopping places normally, apply the brake uh, The best way to deal with wheel slide problems is to get into a wheel slide in the first place. Easy done. Then said, what about the many times we get caught? I'm talking about hitting a low adhesion patch, totally unexpectedly. It's a bit late then to be talking about breaking. You're quite right. But how you hang out is very important. Put the brake controller in step two and leave it there. Ha, ha, ha. You'll see and hear the P activity. So now I've lost control of the train. Absolutely right. Let lull. The WSP works the same as a car. As soon as any wheel set starts to slide, dump valves dump the air on that brake cylinder to get the axe taking again. Yeah. But the P can't improve the adhesion level on the rail, can it? No. All it can do is make the best supernets that's available. So what, are we, what happens when I'm running out of stopping distance? This is the most dangerous of dangerations, and one young one put the brake controller straight into emergency and leave it there. The real art of driving the networker is staying in the platform, whatever the conditions. If you do hit an unexpected area of low rail adhesion, report it to the signal immediately. That way other drivers can be forewarned and get into similar difficulties. So the real message is to anticipate rail additions, make slower approaches and avoid any P-activity. Absolutely right.
Let's have a look at a couple of examples. Dubbit, 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 dubbit. The driver of this networker is handling the train like he always does. At his usual breaking point, he makes a step two application. In normal, in normal dry road conditions, this would be fine. But look at the weather. Lol. He's surprised when P activity starts immediately. If he'd thought, he'd have anticipated this situation. Now that P activity has started, he starts fanning the brake in an attempt to slide. Now that he is confused, and the stopping distance is further extended, fan out, fan out, he's not going to stop. So now he makes an emergency application. Too late, and the train overruns the platform. The outrage, the outrage, the outrage. Push, 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 push.